If you want to learn how to trade just like me, join the community, click the private discord link, sign up through this membership level and you will gain access to weekly group mentorship calls for free. I've seen all those comments the last few days. Where's the Trias update, Louis? Were well, you not covering Trias anymore? Guys, chill out. We haven't done anything. There's reasons why I'm not making videos. We're just simply waiting. What I mentioned in my last video update is that we're holding this key level of support of $14. And if we do ever lose this, our next level of support is $12.30. And as long as we are above $12.30, which we are, we are anticipating $26. So you can see there's a reason for why we just haven't made a video because nothing has really changed guys. Again, today's video is nothing new. It's just a reminder again of what I said in the last video, which is as long as we are above this support, we're expecting $26 and then $31, the previous all time high in terms of price, not in terms of market cap, we're already at a new all time high. Uh, this is because there are more coins, well, all the coins are now in circulation. There will be no more of the, the nonsense of uh, yeah, inflating the market essentially. They can't add coins anymore. The max supply is out there circulating. And so for that reason, we are at a new all time high in terms of market cap, but not in terms of price. So when we do actually get to the previous all time high in terms of price, it would be another all time high in terms of market cap. Uh, so where we're sitting at right now is $15.52. We got some extremely uh, bullish news coming out today. The ETF is rolling out live in the next few hours. By the time you watch this, it's already out and uh, everything can still go wrong. Right now, the TA, over the past few days has been suggesting upside because we're still holding that $12.30 low. It's, we're still above the 20, we're still above the 55. We're in a bullish trend. We just haven't been moving and that's why I haven't made an update because as we are above $12.30, we are expecting upside. We're just waiting for the upside. It's just decided like the past week or so, week and a half or so to just consolidate, but it's consolidating above the level that needs to hold as our bottom, as our support $12.30. And so we are expecting that continuation higher, which is very exciting because this news can act as a catalyst towards meeting the next target. However, it can also be bearish at the same time because everyone's expecting it to go up. And so that's why I need to prepare you with the levels of support in today's update. So make sure you stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Now over my over the other crypto uh, videos that I've done today, which were Bitcoin, uh, Nakamoto Games, and Casper, Trias is the fourth one today. And uh, I'm seeing all these coins, and all the other coins that I, do, I cover on the channel and in my Discord community, they're all setting up bullish. Trias, yeah, it hasn't done anything, but it's still setting up bullish as it's above $12.30. And so we're just simply waiting, but uh, we are expecting upside. Now this news can act as a catalyst, but it could also all go wrong. But although all the charts are showing upside, there's always been times in the past where fundamental analysis can come in and do the complete opposite of what everyone is expecting. So if we're just going off of TA and if you've been following me for whether it's months or years, you'd know that we just do TA in the channel. Every prediction that we do, none of it has been fundamentally based. Of course, do your fundamental analysis to work out what the crypto does and whatnot. But if you're trying to trade based off an ETF approval, or the proof of actually being fake or real or fake or real or fake or real, you know, back and forth, back and forth. How can you trade off of that? So TA is what's going to give you a uh, more, actually help you predict where the market is going. I've been doing it for five years, pretty much without any fundamentals. Just obviously the only fundamental is working out what the crypto does, not actually going off of, oh, there's a new upgrade today because there's an upgrade I'm going to buy and it's going to go up when the upgrade is live and then it just never works out. So what you need to do is use the fibs, understand higher lows, higher highs, up, up trending, up down trending structures. And then yeah, what levels that you need to hold for continuation higher. So of course, right now for the continuation higher, that would be that $12.30 location. It's actually even below the 20. So this is suggesting that we're not looking likely to go back down to $12.30 if this truly is bullish. Why? Because the two to 20 moving average, this purple one, as you can see, as long as price is hovering above it, we're continuing higher and higher and higher. So if we are truly bullish, we wouldn't be going below this point and $12.30 is below that. So showing us that we are expecting higher unless these two locations are lost, 
In fact, your next level of support would be down here on the 55. And just as I explained over here, the 20 is above this point, so we shouldn't go ahead and meet this if it is truly bullish. It's the same down here. $8.80 is a key level. It's on a previous golden pocket over here, and we need to hold above that level in order to get to the all-time high, $31. So as long as we're above $8.88, we are going to $31 eventually. But there are key levels in between, uh, higher than $8.88 that just need to hold for immediate short-term continuation higher. As mentioned today, $12.30 uh, as our lowest uh, point of support of this range that we're in. However, the 20 moving average is just stating you only need to come down as low as $12.86 and we will just continue higher. But remember, you don't have to come here at all. You just need to hold above this, just like over here in the past. You don't need to come down to the key level, the moving average, but as long as you're looking at the range low right there, are we above that on this point going down yes so we continue higher are we right now over here higher than this week yes so we're continuing higher this is what you need to understand with the next target being 26 dollars and 31 dollars of course if we lose this the second layer of defense is around here between uh the 88 sorry eight dollars 88 and ten dollars so if this news is actually you know unexpectedly going to bring the market down, then our next level of support is between $8.88 and $10, of course, if this is lost. Now, I'm actually expecting upside because of what the charts are actually showing, but fundamental news can always change that. You just don't know if it is going to change it or not. That's the problem with fundamental. But the mo if it does change, if we actually do start going down, then TA is gonna tell you where we're going down to. So it, it, it all in all, what matters the most is TA because even if something changes, something unexpected happens, you're only going to work out what's now going on through uh, analyzing and using te a technical analysis. So for now, we're expecting upside as long as the 20 moving average and $12.30 holds and the next target being 26 and 31. But if this is unexpectedly bearish news, don't know how it could be, but you know how this all works, then the next level of support is $8.88 to $10. I'm not expecting that for now. I'm expecting bullish continuation, but preparing you guys if something else does happen. Cheers, everyone. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you want to get educated so, so uh, you learn this all for yourself, then use the links down below. Head over to my Twitter or website for more information on the course, ebook, Discord, or the mentorship plan. Cheers. I've got a whole bunch of educational content, and over here on the website, you can see loads of other people taking action recently. If you want to get educated, simply scroll underneath a video, click take action or link tree and click the option that you want to read more about or private message me on Twitter. Let's start off with the ebook. This is where you can take action on my ebook, teaches the exact strategy. Head over to the membership level if you want to become a Discord channel member where you have access to two weekly group mentorship calls or if you want to take action on my six hour long pre-recorded course, there's an offer here and you do get Discord chat for two months totally free. Here is my beginner one-to-one -one mentorship plan, which includes three hours of my one-to-one -one help, the course and two months free in the chat. And there are some other plans here for five or 10 hours of my one-to-one -one help. Use the links down below to private message me on Twitter or head straight to the website using one of these links to take action. Cheers.